Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alma, as you know already if you are subscribed. And if you are new here, thank you so much for coming back. If you are a subscriber, thank you for coming back all the freaking time. Today's video is going to be a very, very highly requested one. Guys, you guys have been bombarding me. The last vlog I put up, I asked you guys, do you want to see a hospital bag video, a what's in my hospital bag video? And a lot of you wanted to see it. I got DMs and I got comments asking for the hospital bag video. So here we are, guys. If you don't know, time is time is fast spent. Like time is time is going so much that I don't even know where time is running to. And baby me, I will be here like soon. So I've had to pack my hospital bag so that if anything happens, any pekerem pakaram happens, I can easily just grab my bag and and move. Wanna see everything that is in this bag and my own bag, then keep watching. Okay, so first of all, we are going to start off with everything that is in baby's bag. And this is the bag that I packed all of Mia's stuff that I think I would be using in the hospital. So first off, we have a towel. I picked up this towel recently. If you want to buy baby towels, you mostly see the ones that come with the hood. But I was told in the shop I went to that those ones are not very absorbent, like they don't absorb water very very well so they offered me this one instead it's also for babies and it's really 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 soft so i picked up two but i'm taking only one to the hospital of course it's pink and white of course next up inside this little this is actually a laundry bag but i just packed all of her toiletries in here and i wasn't going to pack her toiletries because what i know is that a lot of babies do not have their bath in the hospital like their first bath is usually at home Especially if you have a normal delivery. So I didn't plan to pack any of her toiletries. But I asked my mom and she was like, you better pack her toiletries. So they're going to give her her bath in the hospital. And it's best for us to just pack it. If they use it, fine. If they don't use it, fine. But just pack it. So yeah, I packed her toiletries in here. And I showed you guys some of the things I got to use for Mia. I settled for the Asda brand. Asda is a UK brand of... It's a UK departmental store. And they have their own range of baby products. So I picked the products up and I put it on my Instagram and you could, a lot of you guys had a lot of things to say about this brand. A lot of people were like the brand is trash, the brand is this, the brand is that. Well, no two babies are the same so hopefully Mia's skin will flourish with this product. We'll have to try first and see if it works fine, if it doesn't work fine. But this is the baby powder. This is the head to toe wash. This is the baby oil. This is the baby lotion. I think this is the particular product that a lot of people were not very keen about. I don't think the powder and the baby oil or the head to toe wash has any issues, but the lotion. I actually have also a big top of this shea butter that I actually use on my skin as well. And this one is refined shea butter. It has carrot oil and coconut oil in it. So Trust me, if this one is not doing her any lot of good, this one will. And like somebody actually said to me, baby skin almost come out perfect. Like their skin is, all, most of the time, their skin is perfect. So you don't even need to apply too much things on baby skin. So yeah, that's why I just went for like a normal baby brand, an affordable one, most importantly. I'm not about to go and buy one head to toe baby wash for 6,500 Naira and then I cannot keep up with it. As time goes on, no, I'm not going to do that. That's like shooting yourself in the foot. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go for what is affordable to me. And I also have a bath sponge, a baby bath sponge here as well. So yeah, this is all for her toiletries. And like I said, I wasn't going to pack it. Grandma said, pack it. You never know. Next up, of course, I have some diapers. These are just some I brought out of the pack. And my mom says, take, you're going to carry two big packs of diapers to the hospital and I'm like by the grace of God I hope to have a normal delivery what does a newborn baby need two huge packs of diapers for but mommy is always no best it's my first time being a mom so I don't know better for you to just pack and not use than to underpack if you get what I mean also packed a pack of wipes this one is the Molfix brand I think this is, a, this is actually a Turkish brand I think and a lot of people have been using this particular brand both their diapers and their wipes i also packed this 
um, fragrance free nappy cream and this one is by Tesco I found this on Junior Tesco is also a UK departmental store and I think they run their own range of products as well for babies so I saw this one on Junior and I picked it up just in case she may not need this like in the hospital but just in case and I also have the brand called Sudocrem I've had Sudocrem for quite a while so I'm going to pack that one as well. Also, I have this baby blanket that my cousin gifted to me. It is so nice. It's a knitted blanket. So, so cute. It's by, it's by the brand Ito Luxury. And it's actually like a sky blue color, which I don't mind because Mia has too many pink stuff already. So yeah, I'm definitely packing this one to keep her warm, you know, just in case. It's not too thick. But at the same time, it's knitted and it's really nice. I really, really love this one. Next thing in the bag is this baby care kit. Um, it has got a comb, a brush, a baby thermometer, which I think is actually cool to have. Um, the muca, the muca suction thing. I think it's called the a bulb syringe. Yeah, the one you suck out muca from baby's nose. It it came with that as well. It came with nail clippers and it came with little scissors just because you know babies have been in there for like what nine months plus so definitely their nails have overgrown most times they come out with like nails so you have to cut them so they don't scratch themselves the next thing i packed is a pack of mittens and this is also to ensure that babies don't scratch baby doesn't scratch her face so this one is a pack of two mittens and this one is by mother care this one was gifted to me as well by my cousin so yeah, two cute little mittens, two pairs of cute little mittens. This is a pack of eight washcloths, but I bought them for her mouth, like her mouth, you know babies drew a lot. So I bought them for her mouth as mouth cloths. So it's by the brand called Carters and I just love them because they are very, very soft. Next up, I packed some headbands for her and I packed two different headbands. One is a plain pink one and one is a fuchsia pink with like a little applique thing on top and to be honest i think this is actually these are actually the only headbands she has right now so i just threw them into the bag just in case i want to take pictures of her in the hospital you know this was actually one of the gifts she got during the baby shower next up for clothes you never know how big your baby is going to be until the baby is born so you have to pack like different sizes you don't want to pack something that is too small for her and when she comes out it cannot enter her and you don't want to pack something that is too big and then she's swimming inside it when she's born so i packed both newborns and zero to three months outfits just in case depending on how big she is when she comes out this one is a newborn size it was gifted as well and this one says daddy rules until mommy gets home so that is what is written here and it's so freaking cute this was given to me by my friend boma Thank you, girl. She actually gave me like three different newborn onesies, and this is one of them. And then next one, she also gave me this one, tiny little yellow onesie, and it's got Winnie the Pooh over it, all over it. It's a Disney onesie, so it's got Winnie the Pooh all over it, and it's so, 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 so cute. I absolutely, absolutely adore this one. This one is just a pink and white gray one. I thought that was really, really cute, so I packed this one as well. I also packed this one because it's got, you know, covered foot and you can also use this to cover her arms. I also packed this floral one because it's so, so, so cute. I love it. I love my florals, you guys know. And to have Mia also wear florals would be super amazing. So yeah, I packed this one as well. I have some plain white onesies as well. This little cute little one from Mother Care. I love this one as well. I'm taking this to the hospital as well because like I said, you guys, I don't know how big or how small she's going to be. And this little tiny one as well that says best friends is going with us as well. I have this cute tiny one as well from the brand called Faded Beauty. It's so cute. I love the fact that it has little florals on it. My florals, I love my florals. Mia has to love florals like her, like her mama. Also this really tiny yellow one that says Daddy's favorite girl. I love this one so much. It's from Carter's and I just love it. It's so cute. I love the fact that it's not pink or gray or white. It's yellow. And then this one also, I love it. I love the fact that it has this little dragonfly. And then last but not least for clothes, I also have this one. It's actually a sleeper. It's actually a sleeper, so it's really thick inside. She wouldn't need to wear anything too heavy inside if she's wearing this. And this one was bought 
for her by her grandpa. This one is from Mother Care. I also packed this pack of five caps for her. I just packed it the way I bought it. You know, I bought it like this, and it comes in like different colors that I absolutely love: pink. I love this teal here. I love this polka dotted one. I love this baby pink one as well. I just love it. So actually, remember this onesie I showed you guys? It comes with matching mittens and matching um, and a matching cap as well. So I just threw in the cap and the mittens just in case. These are the mittens over here, so tiny and so cute. Uh, this is the cap, and this is the babe. I know she might not really need the babe in the hospital but i just packed it just in case you never know and i packed her some socks um obviously babies need socks so i packed her this two cute little socks pink and white this was a gift from my friend hamsatu at the baby shower i'm also packing this random pair as well it's got little hearts on it so 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 freaking cute also i packed two shawls um, because of course babies need to be warm. A blanket is not usually enough. You wrap them in a shawl and you wrap them with blankets. You wrap, you wrap them like like a huge big present. And then I also packed this blanket. This was also a gift at the baby shower from Zulaika. I absolutely love this blanket. It is so soft, guys. Like it's so soft. I love it so much. And yeah. Thank you so much, Zelika. This is going to the hospital with us. I think that's it. Oh, there's one more thing in the bag. I got this pack of nappy bags. This one is from Tesco. It's just like what you used to wrap like dirty diapers. So I just picked up a pack of this and I'm packing this as well with me to the hospital. And if you want to see what is in my own bag, then let's get right into it as well. First off, of course, I have my own towel because of course, after childbirth comes a shower. So I have my towel to clean my body. You guys know what towels are used for. Then I also have a couple of slouchy clothes because I know that after childbirth, one can be sore down there. So I'm not packing my leggings or anything that will make me feel uncomfortable or too tight down there. So I just packed two big random t-shirts. Um, I packed this maternity dress. I have been, I've rocked this dress before on my Instagram. And it's actually very good for nursing because it has buttons in the front. My dad bought me this, so I'm packing this to the hospital. And then I'm packing two slouchy trousers. Just two slouchy trousers that are comfortable. And yeah, I'm packing these. I am packing some black undies because you guys know, after childbirth comes bleeding and all of that so yeah i'm packing black on these and i'm also packing um these disposable panties because i cannot ruin my cherished hot on these no i can't ruin them so i'm packing these two packs of disposable panties as well also going with my flip-flops because of course one cannot be what kind in hospital with bare feet you guys know how hospitals can be so i'm packing my flip-flops this one is from Havanias. Havanias is pronouncing that thing. Havaianas, yeah. I'm packing my flip-flops from them. Very, 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 very importantly, I am packing my maternity pads. This, my mom was asking me, maternity pads that are selling now, is this still lady scent? I'm like, it's still lady scent. I'm like, oh my God, and she used lady scent for all of us after she gave birth to all of us. And she can't believe that lady scent is still in production. I'm like, that is all that you see in shops so right now as far Sanity pads, this is all that you see. This is all that the hot will even tell you to buy is here. I'm also packing two nursing bras and I have them right here. I'm also packing nipple cream because they say that breastfeeding is is no joke. Your nipples can get sore, they can crack, they can even bleed, depending on you know the situation of your boobs. So I'm packing nipple people like I cannot shout. I have this one from Lancino. My cousin gave me this. And I also have another one from the dealer. Also packing a pair of socks. This one has little hearts on it and it's pink as well to match me. Here. So I'm just packing this just in case my feet get cold in the hospital. I'm also packing face wipes because I hear that face wipes are like essentials. Trust me to like freshen up just to like wipe your face. These ones are from Nuban Beauty. So I'm packing these as well. I also have um, a pack of breast pads. I don't know how soon 
my breast milk is going to start filming after childbirth but I hope I'm praying that it starts filming almost immediately and yeah I think that is basically it for you know what is in my own bag the only thing that is left there that I haven't shown is probably my toiletries you guys know toiletries Ugh. bath wash lotion deodorant spray makeup I don't know what I'm going to pack but I need to pack makeup to be honest I don't want to pack makeup but I feel like I may need to just in case nothing too serious foundation concealer lip gloss and a brow product that is it like that is basically what I'm going to pack, if at all I'm going to pack makeup. So yeah, that is basically it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as always. you think there's anything that I'm leaving out, do you think there's anything that I should have packed that I did not pack, <laughs> let me know in the comment section below. I'll be glad to hear from you. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, guys, we're almost at 8,005 subbies. We're almost at 1005. I can't wait. So, um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. The video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in my next one in my next video very soon. See ya. Bye.